So, okay, so here, again, I'm, I was going to skip this one because I'm not going for Heaven's domain, Domains. This is clicking order based on spells cast this game. That could be okay. There may be better ones, though. This one is is weak. This one is faction coins. This one is, uh, it's okay, but it's, I feel like it's superseded by this one. So I'll skip it for now. This is spell cost and spell duration. Could be useful. But, like, if there's not a lot of other good researches, this one I don't really see the point of. This one is unique buildings, so it's useless. This one is another assistant one, and I'm. This one looks a little better, even though it's based on like, on like act spell activity time. It still, just looks a little bit better. And this is the max mana one. I'm definitely gonna get that because some other things are based on max mana, and this is huge. So, yeah, this is definitely extremely useful research here. And this one, oh yeah, D three twenty. Just just get it. Like that's. That, that's a no-brainer. This is only faction spells, so I don't really... I feel like I'd rather get um, this one, but I'm, I'm not sure. Like, it would give me more tax collections as well. And then this is the random one. So I feel like I maybe should try to get that one. Not really sure. This is good buildings, but it's based on spells cast this game. It still could be decent. And this is... This is production of all buildings based on the difference... Oh, this is like... This is interesting. It's the D480, the, the one I could try to go for this. It decreases though. But if I'm trying to do quick reincarnations, that could be an extremely useful research to get. Except I feel like I would have to pick between D480 and D400. And also that means I may try to go mercenaries just so I can try to get a smaller difference. I'm not even sure what the difference is between the factions right now. So I'm actually just going to check. It's based on this reincarnation. This is um, one day, two days, 13 hours, two days, eight hours. That's actually, I, mean, I want to see the formula for this. But this looks very powerful considering there's still a day bonus. Okay, I actually looked up the formula for this. And it's actually based on proportional differences. Not based on like the more linear thing that I was thinking of. So... Honestly, I feel like D480 I should not get. It's powerful here, but unless I'm really struggling, I should probably just go D400 or something else instead. So this is, uh, this one's extremely weak, so I should not get this. This is unique buildings only. Maybe I should have tried to go for unique buildings. Who knows? There's not actually a lot of powerful researches here. I should probably, I'm thinking of getting something like, like maybe I should have just gone for, like, Heaven's Domains. But maybe it's too late here for this build. But maybe if I do swap some researches, I could definitely make a better one. I'm really not sure. Um, I should definitely get this. This is good buildings, which means Tatatals is part of that. So, and then I'll probably just get... I'll, I'll, I could try to get this Assistant one. There's not actually a lot of very... Useful ones. I should probably get this D400, though. D400's very good. And now it's a debate over if I want spell duration or I want more assistance. And honestly, I feel like if I'm not... If I don't have Sunforce assistance, this one, I feel like it's just a lot better. And and this one's actually pretty weak. Because, I mean, it's not even that much spell duration. So... Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna get this one. So, yeah, that's 400 assistance. Even with some force assistance, it still could be marginally, only marginally worse than D200. So now there's just, which means that I feel like I could try to. Oh yeah, there's this 600 assistance based on max mana. I'm really not sure. I should definitely get W120 though. Like you can just see how much more powerful like the um these researches are because i have good assistance so i mean i'm yeah i'm definitely getting those researches and then yeah, the alchemy branch i'm really not sure there's again the, it's this is a strong mana regen boost though so i mean perhaps like if i go druid line like i would have insane mana regen but i'm um, again I'm, 
I'm, I'm not sure if... I'm just still debating over th th these, like, assistants versus... Like, I, I th think what I'm going to do here, I'm going to... I'm going to get this and call it the non-Sunforce Assistant build. And then I'll copy this build and just change it sort of in, like, the in like the editor where you paste it. Or, you know, like, you can, like... Like, you can, like, copy and export, and then you, and when you import it, essentially, it's just a list of all the researches. I could just change this from D175 to D200 and A120 to A545. Or just A150, which is probably a lot better. So, okay, maybe... I feel like this could even be better not Sunforce Assistance, because this is... Yeah, this is a crazy research or not crazy but 35 times production boost so i probably made the wrong choice here but whatever but here's the last branch which is the economics branch i should get this this is 41 times production boost it's based on the amount of neutral buildings and then reduce cost modifier for unique buildings i'm not really going for unique unique buildings so i don't feel like that's the best idea in this case this is a production of all buildings based on the amount of gold you own. I feel like that's a good one. This is weak. This one, oh yeah, E290. I'm not even sure if I need excavations anymore though. Like I I think I might have all the artifacts pre-ascension. So I may actually not get E290, which is interesting. This is faction coins. This is production of all buildings based on all art, based on artifacts found. And it looks, yeah, it looks like I can get this. And then looking at this, this is a non-unique buildings. So, yeah, that's probably the build. Just, it'll only slightly be modified. Wait, so of course, Legacy of the Dwarven Kings. I forgot about this. It's, it's where I can, I can get even more researches. I'm not even sure how many. I can get six in Divine, which means I should get... I'm thinking D200 is the best idea here. Because, like, yeah, that's what I was going to... That's, that's what I was going to do anyway. I, I mean, I could go for D480, but not really sure if that's, like, the. I don't think that's the best idea. I mean, like, also, it'll just, yeah, I, I think just D200 it will be interesting. Like, it'll at least, I don't know. I'm not sure if this is going to do anything. People say spell duration is, like, so good, so that's what I'm going to do. And then I can get two more upgrades here, which is weird. Like, I'm, I'm not even sure what I should go for. There's not a lot of strong stuff in here. Like, there's... Like, I, th I think I may just have to do stuff like... Like, I, may, I even may go for D305, just because like, there's so many I can pick. Now, I, th I think honestly, the best ones is probably C305 and... C340. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just, I'm actually going to save this and get a spinning wheel of death. That's, that, that's something you must do when you're saving a research template. And I'm, I'm going to call this um, the Wangel. I can actually just export it like this. And I'm thinking next time I'm definitely going to swap a. 120 for a 150 that's like the one major change so now the bloodline i could pick titan line for a good production boost i i can't i cannot actually pick dwarf dwarf line which is interesting um i feel like and then there's also face line but i don't think that's the best i feel like i should either get um druid line or titan line that's like the i think those are the two most competitive bloodlines. And I have to pick between if a five times mana regen boost is better than a 90 times production boost, which is really, this is a hard choice to make. Like actually the thing is it's not part of the build. So I can just do, I can just experiment, which I honestly, I feel like this is, I'm gonna just try Druid line just to see what I can do with this. Like see how powerful A150 is gonna get or how like, there's probably some other stuff that's based on mana regen. Like, yeah, like, this one. It's so powerful. I feel like Druid Line is just going to be better. 
outright. I can also get 5,000 of every building, like, naturally, with it, without any, without Goblin, without any researches that, like, give more buildings. So, I feel like this is a very powerful build. It's not even the best I can do here, because, you know, A150, or, yeah, A150 instead of A120. So, that's just going to be the last change I'm going to do to this build. Actually, all I can do is just get A150. I've gotten some other researches that I've memorized, like D320 and W. 120, W150, and I'm just going to get A150. Actually, no, I can't just memorize, unfortunately, because the thing is that I can't just do it this way because, you know, if I get it, it's going to get A120 instead of A, instead of, like, something else. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to low, I can actually just paste here and then go to the A branch and just delete A120 and then import that build. And I have everything in the alchemy branch, so I can now just import it like this. And this will be Dwindle Build, re, re, Dwindle Research Build 2. And honestly, I'm just going to delete one because, like, AA120 is almost completely useless. Like, be, because of, you know, like, the, the horn of the, of the kings, it just give, gives me other assistant stuff. Also, just Sunforce assistance is going to be so powerful that, yeah, it looks like with this build... I can get all the way to about E136 gems, and it, especially if this, like, the random thing um, hits the right building, it's right now hitting all Hall of Legends, which is the wrong building, if it hits the Cetatals, it'll be extremely powerful, and I can be able to get to a lot of gems. So, like, I only, I'm, I'm not sure how many gems I needed for Reincarnation 35, I think it was, like, E129, so you're gonna, you just notice this is gonna be... I, I'm going to breeze through the next few reincarnations. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.